I always and never will have any friends. Well, I thought this. That was until I met him. I remember the first time I met Le Chat. That's his name, by the way. Le Chat. The cat à la française. I remember he was in some kind of absurd position. Upside down or something. But you know, I didn't mind. In fact, it made me love him even more. I mean, he is beautiful, Le Chat. We used to start the day by purchasing a daily periodical. The Chat always liked The Independent ever since Bono edited one of the issues. This always used to create a moment of contention, but I'd always cater to his needs. I mean, what is a best friend for? We had our fun times together, just in and around the London area. I mean, we also had a bit of a fondness for street art. We just go there and stand by it and admire. Sometimes not even look at it, which was quite absurd. And Le Chat did have a penchant for red classic cars, which I always thought was kind of silly for a cat. I mean, life moved pretty fast when Le Chat was around. I used to tell him, Je suis du pont de deux, désolé. And he'd be thinking, I know he'd be thinking, You can't speak French. You know what? He was right. I can't. He was always right, Le Chat. Very wise in his clockwork mechanism. Like Treebeard. Sorry, we film. <coughs> was I sexually attracted to the chat? Yes, I guess I was. I think the thing to point out is that I personally believed, I don't know about him, is that we'd always be together. I mean, we had our off-kilter moments. Choosing a video film to watch would occasionally lead to some unpleasantries, but I used to walk it off around Hyde Park. Kensington Palace and there was never any anger or resentment there. The day I lost the chat, I could feel there was something telling me that something was not right, quite wrong. A plague on my mind. I rushed home through the door and there and there is where it happened, Clarice. I felt tainted, impure, dirt on the railroad. Broke my heart the day the chap left. It was just so cold and heartless. I don't think I'll ever forget him. I don't think anyone could, those who've had the pleasure of being in his company. Could we stop filming now, please?